Hello, I'm Joshua Hartzorn. I'm a professor of psychology and neuroscience at Boston College and the lead developer of Pushkin. Pushkin is a software toolbox to help you make online laboratories like Games with Words, Test My Brain, Lab in the Wild, The Music Lab. So you might be wondering, what do I need a website for? Can't I just use Amazon Mechanical Turk or Prolific? The main issue is demographics. With Amazon or Prolific, you're restricted to maybe 10, 20,000 people, all adults, and mostly Americans. The most powerful thing about running your studies online is that in principle you can reach huge numbers of subjects of all ages from all around the world. Over half the world's population has internet access. And a number of studies have made really innovative use of this broad reach of the internet. And they pretty much all use their own websites or apps and not Amazon Mechanical Turk or Prolific. So what kinds of things do these websites tend to have? Well, Here's my own, gameswithwords.org, and you can see, of course, there's a list of quizzes, but also you can get findings from prior research that we conducted on the website. Also, there's an About page where you can learn more about us, the people behind it, um, our sources of funding, there's contact information. Some websites will show you the average amount of time it's taken someone to do each experiment or how many people have participated so far. Others have forums where subjects can talk with each other and actually, in a few cases, have made major scientific discoveries. And also some will have the ability for subjects to log in. Um, and you get a dashboard where you can see your prior participation, prior results in different experiments you participated in. These are, of course, ways of trying to promote engagement with the website, make things more interesting for subjects to participate. Now, I want to answer some other questions you may have, like how does Pushkin compare to some of these other things you've heard about, like JS Psych or Gorilla or um, um, Testable or Pavlovia? The short answer is that the other systems are meant for building individual experiments. And if you just want a standalone experiment for testing students from your study pool or workers on Amazon Mechanical Turk, you'll want to use one of those systems. Pushkin is for building that broader website for including features like a forum or a subject login system or social media integration or an email automatic email mailing system or personalized feedback for subjects, all the things that you see in online laboratories like Games with Words or Lab in the Wild. In fact, individual experiments in Pushkin are actually built with JS Psych, so if all you need is the experiment itself, JS Psych will work great. So the good news is that there's a lot of technology out there to help you build websites that um, are dynamic, can capture important information, allow you to do logins, and so forth. The bad news is there's a lot of technology out there for helping you build websites, and you actually have to figure out which technology you want to use um, and which pieces of technology do what. So to give you an example, a couple years ago I was starting to redevelop games with words because the technology I had been using was becoming obsolete not for the first time. And this is a general problem, of course, with running things online is that technology changes. But anyway, um, I heard there were these new things out there called um, web, um, uh, web frameworks. And there were a number of them. And the first thing I was going to do was pick one. Okay, so let's go online. Um, what web framework uh, should I use? Okay, 10 best web development frameworks. That's a little worrisome. There's 10. Um, but I remember somebody told me that I really should use Ember, that Ember was a good one. So let's, let's look at that one. Okay, so Ember, framework for ambitious web developers. That seems good. Um, okay, a lot of stuff here. All right, tutorial. Okay, long tutorial. Um, so what does actually Ember do? Let's see if I can get just, um, I'm still not sure what a web framework is. Um, okay, we have a chart here, that's helpful. And so then you might read a little bit of this chart and keep going down and eventually you're gonna run into things like, huh, templates, Ember uses the syntax of handlebars to describe, okay, so what's handlebars? Handlebars, handlebars is largely compatible with mustache templates, huh. All right, so mustache templates, what are those? Okay, let's go here. All right, a lot more I'm going to need to read. And that's pretty much par for the course. And this repeats over and over and over again because every modern website is based on a large number of different technologies. Just for the record, here are the ones that we use for Pushkin. 
Um, actually, these are not all the ones we use for Pushkin. These are just the ones that have logos. So now you basically know the motivation for Pushkin. The goal of Pushkin is to abstract away from a lot of the details, the nitty gritty of web development, so that you can concentrate on the science and not have to worry about, should I use Ember or React or Django? And suddenly use React, it's definitely better. But this does not mean that it's a point and click system. Um, I don't think that we're going to ever have uh, a point and click system for sophisticated websites that do good cognitive science experiments in the same way that we don't have point and click for fMRI. Now, at the same time, we also don't build our own fMRI machines from scratch and we don't write the software for them from scratch. And with Pushkin, you won't have to. To learn more about how to download and use Pushkin, you can always head over to our website. The documentation there will describe what's currently available. Some of the features I mentioned, like the forums, are still being tested and so aren't part of the official release yet, but we are rolling out new features literally every day. We're really excited to have new people using the software and we're committed to providing support, uh, technical support through our online forum, and I hope to see you there soon.